Hello everyone, yeah, this is Mustafa Bayrak here. And today we will study the three forms of a sentence. For example, to be sentenced, we know it, we know to be sentenced. And we will remember the present form of to be and then simple past of to be and simple future. Now we will. Uh, acquire, yes, we will acquire the simple forms of to be. And in the following presentations, we will do the same thing with the models. For example, can, action verbs, and the verb have. So be, do, have. We will uh, acquire the present form past form and future form of uh, the verbs, okay. But of course, the message, uh, each sentence has a message and the message will be changed according to the present, past or future forms. Yes, let me share our presentation and start our Lesson. Okay, yes, hello again, and welcome to English Acquiring channel. Okay, let's inquire, let's acquire English. Trip two, present, past, future of, to be, to be, that is, M's are, was, were. Okay, for example, let's notice, let's see the real life situations. Okay, we will speak English, we will practice English, but with what? With what we will practice English, we will speak English, we will write English? Of course, with uh, grammar and vocabulary. So we should know the grammar, we should have the true knowledge of English, and then uh, we should increase our vocabulary and then we should use them. Using them means speaking English. Yes. Okay, let's start from what we know. We know this. We started, uh, we started our beginner level with uh, uh, sentences such as uh, I am in Paris, where are you? Uh, uh, Osman is in New York, where is Yasemin? Okay, yes, for example, uh, as you see, there are one, two, three, four pictures of different four cities. Yes, the picture, the image of uh, Istanbul on the right, yes, and the, uh, the photograph of London, the photo of New York and on the right, sorry, yes, on the right, the picture of Paris, on the left, the city of Istanbul. Okay, uh, now let's go into, or let's jump into the situation. Okay, today, listen, today Erhan is in Istanbul, okay? Do you know this? Uh, it is as clear as your native language. Today, Erhan is in Istanbul. Peter is in London, here. Okay. Julie and John are in New York. They are in New York. I am in Paris. You are in Paris, too. Yes, imagine this like this. This is the present form of the message. We are now, right now, at the moment, at present. Yes, let's go ahead. One day later, what happens? Again, present tense. What happens on the 23rd of July? Erhan goes to London, from Istanbul to London. Yes, Erhan goes to London. Peter comes to Istanbul from London. Yes, so easy. Let's keep it in mind. 
Julia and John go to Paris from New York. And I and you, uh, you come to New York from Paris. Okay, let's see what is next. Let's see the next level. Okay. Now, next level is this. Pay attention to the green part of the page on the left side, yes. Uh, it represents the past, okay. Past of to be, which are, was, were. Yeah, they are, was, were. Erhan is in London now, not in Istanbul. Erhan is not in Istanbul, but Erhan is in London now. But, but he was in Istanbul yesterday. This is past of to be. He was in Istanbul yesterday. Dialogue one. Peter is in Istanbul today. But where was he yesterday? Peter is in Istanbul today. But where was he yesterday? Where was he? He was in London. This is this. So simple. So practical. Now, dialogue two. Julia is in Paris. Okay, today. But where was she yesterday? She was in New York. Julia was in New York yesterday. Where was John? John was in New York too. So, where were Julia and John yesterday? They were in New York. Okay. Three, dialogue three A. I and you are in New York now, but where were we yesterday? We were in Paris yesterday. Okay. Please, again, let me uh, say this. Uh, please accept yourself. Please see yourself as B and make up dialogues like this. Okay. Picture of to be. Now the blue part, the very right, very right part of the page. Picture of to be will be. Not Emizar, not was word, but will be. Okay. Erhan is in London today. Erhan is in London today. He was in Istanbul yesterday, but he will be in Madrid. This is the picture of Madrid. He will be in Madrid tomorrow on July the 23rd. Is it clear? He will be. Erhan is in London today. He was in Istanbul yesterday, but he will be in Madrid tomorrow on July the 3rd. Yes, this is the uh, past, present and future forms of a sentence, of a message. Erhan is, is in London today is a message. Has, it has a message in it. Erhan is in London today. Okay, it's clear. If you go to Istanbul, uh, sorry, sorry, if you go to London, you can see Erhan because Erhan is in London today. Present message, meaning he was in Istanbul yesterday. Okay, I understand. I see it. He was in Istanbul yesterday in the past, but he will be in Madrid tomorrow in the future. This, this, this, this has got a future meaning, future message in it. Okay. How will you give? How will... Uh, will we, shall we give messages of past, present, future without knowing the grammar, without knowing vocabulary? Is it clear? Okay. But he will be, he will be in Madrid tomorrow on July the 23rd. Dialogue 4a. Peter Yes, please focus on the future now. Yes. Okay. Peter is in Istanbul now. Yes, it is clear. You know this. Peter is in Istanbul now. He was in London yesterday. Okay, it is also clear. He was in London yesterday. 
but where will he be tomorrow? Where will Peter be tomorrow? Where will he be tomorrow? This is the photo of Venice. So he will be he will be in Venice tomorrow. This is English. Dialogue five, now three altogether. Let's concentrate on present, past, and future together. Let's force our memory, force our attention uh, on three of uh, the tenses as present, past, and future. Okay. Dialogue five, A. Julian and John are in Paris today. They were in New York yesterday, but where will they be tomorrow? They will be in Rome tomorrow. Okay. Now, let's uh, imagine two people as Albert and Judy. Albert and Judy are in Kenya this year. This is Kenya. They are in Kenya this year. They were in Angola last year. They were in Angola last year. But they will be in Malawi next year, in Africa. Yes, they will be in Malawi next year. Okay. Now, six. As you see, this is not a grammar lesson. This is not a vocabulary lesson. This is a, a lesson of English uh, in harmony with in harmony with both grammar and vocabulary and it includes for example it appeals to it appeals to your eyes your ears and you can listen you can understand you can write in fact you have to write you must write yeah you must uh, fill in complete this blank parts. Yes. Okay, dialogue six, A. I am in New York now. I was in Paris yesterday, but where will I be tomorrow? Where will I be tomorrow? B says A. You will be. You will be uh, in Poland tomorrow. Where will you be tomorrow? I will be in uh, in Br Brussels tomorrow. I will be in Oslo tomorrow. I will be in Finland, Finland tomorrow. Yeah, where will you be tomorrow? Where are you today? Where were you yesterday? Where will you be tomorrow? This is this. For example, so simple, but so effective. Uh, let's take a look at the images and they don't distract our attention. The first image says, today is Tuesday. Ch -ch Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. And John Wooden said uh, a wise saying, don't let yesterday take up too much of today. Yes. Take your lesson from yesterday and concentrate mostly on today. Yes, a nice saying, a wise saying. Uh, what did Master Ugwey said in Kung Fu Panda? Yes, he said, yesterday is history. Tomorrow is a mystery, but today is a gift. That is why it is called the present. Yes, present has a meaning, as a second meaning, as giving something uh, to somebody without money. Yes. Okay. Okay. Now, what is today? What is today? Today is Tuesday. What was yesterday? What was yesterday? Yesterday was Monday. What will tomorrow be? What will tomorrow be? Tomorrow will. Tomorrow will be Wednesday. Who were the Furious, Furious Five in 
Kung Fu Panda. Yes, who were they? Who were the Furious Five in the Kung Fu Panda? They were monkey, tigress. Let's see. Let's see who they were. Let's see who they were. Okay, they were tigress, monkey, viper, the snake, crane, crane, the bird, this one, with a long beak, the bird, and mantis, mantis, a kind of insect, yes, green insect, in fact, yes, mantis. Was panda or tigress the leader of the team, of the group? or in the group, in the team. Was panda or tigress the leader? I think naturally tigress, yes, tigress was the leader, but panda later was the most powerful, the most skillful one. Okay. Okay, fat, F-A-D. What is a fat? Look at the... Uh, not image. What is this? Uh, gift, gift. Yes. Uh, let's take a look at the gift. Uh, the gift on the right. It's a fat. The man says. The police officer. I think. It's a fat. It's a fat. What is a fat? Oh, if you take a look at the image. Not image. The a gift on the left. Yes, it is a fat, a toy fat, toy fat, spinner. It spins around, so it is called spinner, spinner. Children play, uh, children play with it. Uh, I also like, in fact, I also like playing with it, yes. Okay, spinner is a fat. Now, these are fats. What is a fat? Dictionary says that a fat is a sudden and shortly trend or fashion in toy business, in clothing business, uh, etc., etc., and so forth. What are the fats of 2022? What will be, what will the fats uh, be in 2023? 2023. Okay. Yes, spinner. Rubik's cube, for example. Rubik's cube was a fat maybe uh, 30 years ago. Yeah, Rubik's cube was a fat 30 years ago. Puppet or push, push pop. Push pop. This is push pop. I think uh, this is the this is the fat of 2022. Push pop. This is called push pop, and it is the fat. It is one of the fats of 2022. Uh, what will the fats be in 2023? Of course, uh, it is difficult to know it, and we don't know. We don't know uh, what they will be. Okay. Yes. Dialogue 7a. A fidget spinner, or just a spinner. This one. A spinner was a fat in the past. What else was a pe uh, was a pe fat in the past? Yes, uh, this click clucks, click clucks. This uh, these click clucks were were a fat in the past. And this bird, do you remember its name? It's it was something like fuzzy, Lucy, something like this, but I can't remember now. This word uh, was a, a fat in the past, and scooter, this scooter was also a fat in the past. Okay. Okay, all right. Uh, dialogue eight. Uh, my best friend was Aki 15 years ago. Passed off to be. My best friend was Aki 15 years ago. Who was your best friend three years ago? Tarık was my best friend three years ago. Okay. Or 
three years ago, my best friend was Tariq. Tariq. My best friend was Tariq three years ago. Or oh, just Tariq was. Okay, short answer, Tariq was. Who was your best friend three years ago? Tariq was. Okay. Oh, there is there is a friendship day as well. Okay, dialogue 9A. Mahmoud was my best friend three years ago. Who was your best friend three years ago? Yakub was my best friend three years ago. Dialogue 10. Barış Banço was my favorite singer 15 years ago. Who was your favorite singer then? Yes. Uh, unfortunately, I don't remember who was my favorite singer then. Or, unfortunately, I don't know. Yes, you, we can answer like this. Or, uh, any name. Uh, for example, Emel Sayın was my favorite singer then. 11A. Elbette, this is the name of a song. Elbette was my favorite song 10 years ago. What was? What was your favorite song then? Karatren was my favorite song then. Or my favorite song was Karatren then. Or just it was Karatren. It was Karatren. This is also okay. No, 12. My favorite song was Karay Sar Kalesi. What was your favorite song last year? I don't remember it, for example. I don't remember it, yes. But I think uh, it was, uh, it was, Leylim, Leylim, Leylim. Okay. Dialogue 13a. Swimming was my hobby 10 years ago. What was your hobby then? Then here means 10 years ago. What was your hobby then? Walking in the mornings was my hobby then. Or running was my hobby uh, 10 years ago. Fishing, fishing wa was my hobby or it was fishing. 14A. Bir Demet Tiyatro was my favorite sitcom in the past. What was your favorite sitcom in the past? Situational comedy. Yes, sitcom is the short form of situational, situational comedy. Okay. Yes, we can give uh, uh, answers like this. I don't know. I don't remember for now uh, what my favorite sitcom was then i don't remember what it was what it was yes but my favorite stand-up show was bayas show in the past for example i don't remember the sitcom but i remember that my favorite stand-up show was bayas show in the past okay these are also important to be born yes to be happy, to be from Poland, to be busy with, yes. To be busy with, to be interested in, for example. A, I was born. I was born in 2004. When were you born? When were you born? I was born in 1950. Okay. When were you born? When were you born? We always use simple past tense because uh, we were born in the past. Okay. Dialogue 16a. I was born on, on the 22nd of November in 1994. Where were you born? I was born in Kayseri. Where were you born? I was born in Madrid. Okay. Now, happy birthday. 
I was born in Balıkesir. Where was Çaka Bey born? Where was he born? He was born in İzmir. Dialogue 18A. Hasan was happy yesterday. Yes, this is uh, a model sentence. You can make, you can produce uh, hundreds of thousands of sentences by using adjectives and the opposite of them. Okay, Hasan was happy yesterday. Hasan wasn't unhappy yesterday. Hasan was happy yesterday. How was Selim yesterday? Or what was Selim like yesterday? He was cheerful. He was cheerful yesterday. Uh, yes, he was. Uh, he was unhappy yesterday. He was hopeful. Hopeful yesterday. He was positive yesterday. Okay. Nineteen A. Turgut was born in Manisa. Where were Halil and Betül born? Where were they born? They were born in. They were born in. Uh, Mardin. Yes. Halil and Betül were born in Mardin. Mima Sudan was born in April the April the fifteenth, fourteen eighty nine. Where was he born? He was born in where is Kayseri? Kayseri. He was born in Kayseri. Kayseri yes, here. He was born here on the map. You can we can see it on the map. Twenty one A. Mimar Sinan was an architect. Mimar Sinan was an architect. What was Hajarif Bey? Yeah. What was Hajarif Bey? Hajarif Bey was a composer. Hajarif Bey was a musician. Yes. An artist such as a musician or a composer likes his or her pieces of art or works of art, don't they? Of course, they uh, really like their uh, pieces of work. They are like their children. Yes, their pieces of art, their works of art are, uh, are like their children. They say like this. Okay. Dialogue 22. I think the pencil was the first means of writing. Means of writing in history. What do you think the first means of counting or calculating was? <coughs> what it was? What do you think it was? I think it was the abacus. This is an abacus. <coughs> Okay, let's go ahead. Okay, quiz time. Attention, please. Okay. Uh, question one. Erhan is in London now, but he blank in Istanbul yesterday. So, A, B, C, D. Which one? Was, of course. He was in Istanbul yesterday. Julie and John are in Paris today. They blank in New York yesterday. Plural subject. So A, B, C, D, they were. Because there is yesterday here. We cannot say are. They were in New York yesterday. They are in Paris today. Okay. Bir de Tiyatro was my favorite sitcom blank. Was my favorite sitcom. A, B, C, D. Which one? No, this is this is about the future. This is also about the future. This is about the present. So, 10 years ago. 10 years ago. Yasin always asks questions in a, in a blank way. How does he speak? Yes, in a blank way. A, B, C, D. France? No, France. 
Frant, no, Frant, no, friendly, friendly, adjective, adjective, in a friendly way. What blank they usually grow in Adana? What they usually grow in Adana? So do is true here. What do they usually grow in Adana? They usually grow cattle in Adana and watermelon in Adana. They usually grow watermelon in Adana. Okay, paragraphs, reading part. Yes, reading part one. Perspective is mental eye. Hmm. Perspective is mental eye. A. Has an, has an ignorant perspective or cruel perspective ever existed in this world so far up to now? I do not ever think so. And I never think so. I don't think so. As because perspectives exist. And there are perspectives. Exist means there is there are. Perspectives exist either in the mind or above the mind. However, both ignorance and cruelty lie below the mind. Both are in chaos. Both are manipulated by ego. Both are blind. A. How do ignorance and cruelty regard science, art, and ethics? They try to misuse, abuse science, art, and ethics, even low to mislead perception of people. So they are negative states of uh, negative positions, negative situations of us. Dialogue two, realism and idealism. The balance between optimism and pessimism must be realism and idealism. The religious mentality of not denying or not ignoring science and science and the scientific mentality of not denying or not ignoring religion must be the realistic and idealistic mentalities, perspectives, or approaches, yeah, the balance. Okay, thank you for watching and see you next video.